a trailblazer, a tireless journalist, a trusted voice. But to so many viewers across New England, she was just Nat, just another member of the family. Natalie Jacobson helped guide New Center 5 through more than half of this station's 50-year history. She's sharing those memories in her new book. It's called Every Life a Story. And she graciously sat down with me for an honest, engaging, and moving conversation. I'm Natalie Jacobson. Good night. This is the first time since you left. Very emotional. I know. Are you ready? What do you oh think? Oh, my. Look at all those pictures of yesteryear. Look at you, Natalie. Wow. Look at you. I was young once. You are young always. <laughs> You're young always. Great stories, great people. I love how you went right to, right in the middle. You look Welcome amazing. Welcome to New Center 5. <laughs> Welcome home, Natalie Jacobson. Oh, Maria, thank you. Channel 5, WCVB, was my life for 35 years. 35 That's years. most of my adult life, you know? And you were part of our life for that whole time, Natalie. We weren't TV people. We weren't stars. We weren't celebrities. We were out and about in the communities. Every day and night, we lived in the communities. We knew what struck people, what they worried about, what they couldn't sleep about at night. And we programmed to it. We included people in our programming. So this was one big community. And the story that captured the community, the birth of Nat and Chet's daughter, Lindsay. There was some indication I might be pregnant, so I ran up Route 9 here to my yeah. doctor, and he confirmed I was. I bought a pair of booties over at Bloomingdale's, which used to be across the street there. And I had Chet come out, and I said, here, hand him this box. It had these booties, so that was my... Right in the parking my, lot. That was my signal that, yep, we're having a baby. <laughs> and so I said, you got to promise not to tell anybody. This is six weeks. This will be the world's longest pregnancy. Oh, honey, okay, I promise, I promise. Of course, he went back to the state in here, told everybody. Everybody. You're so loving and generous to Chet in your book. Oh, well, why not? <laughs> we were married for 25 years. We had a wonderful relationship on and off the air. We somehow clicked with TV. We were a great team, and, and I'm sorry that he got sick later and died way too early of pancreatic cancer. I would have preferred not to have a chapter about the dissolution of our marriage and just tell you about the wonderful 25 years. Through the ups and downs, Natalie constantly credits the team that made WCVB what it is then and today, and that includes longtime news director Jim Thistle. There is a quote that you have included in the book from Jim Thistle. This was on your last day here at Channel 5, and Jim Thistle was very sick. He was dying. I found out later, he said to his wife, I can't die tonight, it has to be tomorrow because I have to be in Natalie's last day. I'm sorry. What a guy. He said about you, she believed we could always do better, more, and that could drive you nuts, but by doing so, that elevated us. She challenged us individually and as a team to be the best that we could. The news department is better because of Natalie. Can you imagine anybody saying anything better to you? It's the nicest, most important affirmation of what you hope you did for all those years. God bless him. God bless your soul, Jim. <laughs> wow. What an incredible woman. An, emotion, an, an, an emotional conversation, too. It really was.